All right, now we can speak to Kevin Kraliki, who is Reuters' regional editor for Asia. He was actually at the courthouse earlier. He's joining us live now from Yangon uh, via Skype. Thank you for talking to us. Um, these men have already been in jail for some time at great considerable uh, personal cost. Tell us about them, the two individuals involved. That's right. Uh, Wallon and Chosu have already been in prison uh, for eight months. They've been separated from their families. They have young families. Uh, Chosu has a young daughter who has only been able to see her father in court over the most of the, the past year. Well, Wallon has a uh, newborn daughter. He, he's never met. Um, what happened today was an injustice. It's heartbreaking for their families. It, it threatens the freedom of press and the rule of law in Myanmar, and it can't be allowed to stand. And uh, what is Reuters preparing to do in the uh, next stage of this battle to have your, your two employees released? Well, this has been a judicial process. We've respected the judicial process. We've presented a case, a compelling case, and any fair reading of the evidence at trial that shows uh, that Wallon and Chosu are innocent. And today's verdict, unfortunately, uh, provide support, tragically provide support to those in the police who sought to cover up a real crime, uh, the mass killing of 10 men and boys in Rakhine State just over a year ago. That was the story Wallon and Chose were, were reporting at the time of their arrest. Uh, clearly their arrest uh, was in intended to stifle that publication. Right, and, and indeed, that the, the very incident that they were reporting on has been proved to, to have been accurate, and indeed, those responsible have uh, been sentenced to jail, haven't they? But what is Reuters preparing to do now in terms of the appeal process, in, in terms of lobbying? Because I, I would imagine that it's going to come down to some serious hard lobbying on the part of Reuters, as well as other interested agencies, to try to uh, put pressure, increase the pressure upon Aung San Suu Kyi in particular? It's only been a few hours uh, since we had the verdict in Yangon District Court. Um, you, you've already seen a widespread uh, and uniform international response uh, to what happened today. We, we, we want to talk to the families, we want to talk to lawyers and advisors, and we want to pursue every avenue that's available to us. The government of Myanmar now has an opportunity and the responsibility to do the right thing and, and to free our colleagues, to free our friends while on the Chosu. But do you have any faith in the judicial system in Myanmar today? Well, I couldn't, uh, I think I've been clear, we couldn't more vehemently uh, object to the verdict today. No fair reading of the trial uh, supports uh, today's decision. Uh, journalism is not a crime. The legal framework in Myanmar safeguards a free press. Uh, what happened today is a threat to that uh, free press, the free press that any democracy requires. Kevin Kraliki, thank you very much indeed for joining us live via Skype from Yangon, Myanmar's uh, largest city. Thank you.